Hey guys, it is April from Getting Hooka With It. Today is the very last day of the Sweet Spring Read series. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about books set in gardens or books with a garden element intermixed here. I've got four books that I want to share with you, so let's get into it. <music> Could I not start out this whole video without talking about The Secret Garden? This is a children's classic. I absolutely loved this book. It's a very quiet book about an orphan who moves into her uncle's very grand home. Like, I mean grand. His wife died, and ever since his wife died, he's become really recluse. He doesn't spend much time with her at all. And she discovers that there is this portion of um, the grounds um, that she lives on um, that is this old secret garden. And she brings it back to life when she discovers it. It's so beautiful. Um, this is a book that you could read time and time again during the spring. Next up, I've got The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. Now, this is on my spring TBR. I really want to read this. I always like to read Kate Morton every year in the spring, and this is one that I haven't gotten to yet. This follows a young girl in 1913. She is abandoned on a ship that's heading to Australia. Uh, and when she arrives in Australia, the dock master and his wife take her in and raise her as their own. On her 21st birthday, they sit her down and talk to her about the fact that she really is an orphan and that they took her in. And she has so many questions, so many questions that she decides to go on the hunt for answers. And it leads her to the Cornish coast and the secrets of the doomed Montrachet family. And I believe we also follow another character, which is um, the granddaughter of this woman. Now, I don't believe our main character, Nell, finds out everything about her history. And so her granddaughter takes up um, the hunt for Nell's um, history. And it just sounds absolutely wonderful. I am very eager to read The Forgotten Garden. Next up is The Signature of All Things by Elizabeth Gilbert. This follows Alma Whitaker. She's born in 1800 and she's the daughter of a charismatic botanical explorer. And she herself falls head over heels in love with plants and science. And it is about her experience as a young child and also her experience as a, a young woman when she meets a man who she falls in love with. I started reading this many years ago and I put it down for some reason. I think another book was calling to me, but I do really want to read this and this cover is stunning. Finally, I've got a thriller for you. It's The Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell. This takes place in London and all of the characters in this book live in this like apartment building. All of the apartments look onto this centralized garden. So the premise of the story is one midsummer night, they're having this neighborhood party uh, in the garden and there's a little girl who's like gravely injured. Um, they find a girl named Grace lying unconscious and bloody in a hidden corner of a lush rose garden. What really happened to her and who was responsible? What would you do if one of your neighbors wanted your child dead or hurt or injured in some way? What would that do to a neighborhood? And can you trust your neighbors at all? That sounds really fun. Um, so those are all of the books that take place in some way or another in a garden. Um, I thought that one would be perfect for spring and a perfect way to end the sweet spring read series. I hope that you liked this and I will be back my normal time, I believe Wednesday, I'll be posting something. So I'll see you then and I hope you're doing well. Talk to you later. Bye.